bourgeois. And from now on, I'll be your new superhero, Queen Bee. Avid fans of Miraculous Ladybug believe Chloe's rise and fall to be a significant loss. It's easy to see why. Although Chloe began as a cruel school bully at the beginning of the series, she became a beacon of hope for the people of Paris as the hero Queen Bee. There was a brief stint in seasons 2 and 3 where her character elevated from her antagonist origins and saw the start of an emotionally investing redemption arc. She even helped during face-to-face -face battles with Myura and Hawkmoth, a feat heroes don't share. While Chloe worked as Queen Bee, there were subtle changes to her personality during her daily life. She became less of an enemy to Marinette and tried living up to the new standards placed on her as one of Paris's heroes. Truthfully, these character developments were subtle and happened throughout the seasons, but they were enough that fans took notice and began cheering Chloe on. Her redemption arc was well written and the audience wanted to see it through. That's why a devastation rocked the Miraculous Ladybug fandom when Chloe joined forces with Hawkmoth at the end of season 3 because all of her hard work and positive adjustments led to nothing. Chloe's cruel behavior becomes worse in the most recent seasons, but her fans are holding out hope for a triumphant return. In today's video, we're giving reasons why Chloe should have a redemption in season 6. Ladybug and Cat Noir had just helped a supervillain force my father, the mayor of Paris, to resign. Number 1. Her Admiration for Ladybug Chloe is a menace to her classmates during the early seasons of Miraculous Ladybug. At first glance, it appears she was created solely to fill the role of a mean-spirited school bully. She's everything that Marinette despises, and because of their conflict, Chloe becomes the scapegoat for most things that go wrong in the series. It's hard to feel bad for a character when the only part of them you see is the way they hurt others. If the writers wanted to keep Chloe as a detestable villain, then she shouldn't have received such a strong admiration for Ladybug. Surprisingly, Chloe expresses how she can hold people above herself when she begins voicing her love for Ladybug. Whenever she encounters the heroes of Paris, she will stop her idol for a quick selfie or conversation. She even cosplays as Ladybug in her free time and pretends to save Paris alongside Sabrina's Cat Noir. Although these behaviors may seem out of place, they make complete sense after watching the events of Stoneheart. Chloe's view on the heroes changes after they save her from an akumatized villain for the first time. Chloe has supported Ladybug since the beginning of her heroic career, giving her someone to admire and aspire to daily. Her admiration only grows once she becomes Queen Bee in Style Queen, because she receives the chance to work alongside her idol. Chloe's faith in Ladybug and all the good she does runs so deep that she rejects an Akuma in Miracular, because she refuses to turn against her teammates. Chloe's admiration for Ladybug proves that she believes in the greater good. In the beginning, Chloe couldn't have loved making other people miserable because of her enjoyment alone. She cheered when Ladybug saved the day, held the heroes on a pedestal, and did everything she could to help protect Paris when given the chance. All of these behaviors belong to someone deserving of redemption. I promise I'll be nice to everyone, say please and thank you all the I didn't promise. <laughs> what? Number 2. Her Family Relationships When someone asks for a redeeming quality about Chloe, her fans mention the dysfunctional and negligent household she grew up in. Naturally, Chloe's childhood doesn't excuse her abhorrent behavior throughout the series, but it provides insight into her choices. When Miraculous first delved into the bourgeois family dynamics in Season 2, a series of doors opened for Chloe's character, and some of them allowed her to rise above the behaviors she inherited from her parents. When Audrey Bourgeois comes to Paris in Style Queen, her unagreeable personality and horrible paternal instincts rival Gabriel's, which says a lot about her character. It's possible for characters to get designed to be unlikable, and Audrey is one of them. Unfortunately, many of her habits and mannerisms are a mirror image of the behavior displayed by Chloe. They share the same catchphrase, ridiculous, utterly ridiculous, and put others down when they don't get their way. However, throughout Style Queen, Chloe vies for her mother's approval and attention. That's why she becomes particularly hostile to Marinette in Queen Wasp and falls victim to an akumatization. Chloe's relationship with Andre is slightly better, but it's nothing to admire. Andre raises Chloe in Paris and concedes to her every whim. He believes the path to a peaceful existence and happy family is to give her everything she wants, even when her requests are preposterous. His methodology of child raising leaves Chloe spoiled and unaccustomed to things not going her way. Unfortunately, Andre goes from one extreme to the next when he decides to finally discipline Chloe for her bad behavior in Revolution. Instead of grounding his daughter or insisting she apologize, he abandons her completely by sending her to live with her mother. Chloe's final familial relationship is with her half sister Zoe, but they're far from close. Their relationship barely hits the ground running in Soul Crusher before they began feuding. Zoe's mentality and kind behavior are so far from Chloe's that the pair could could never get along unless Chloe decides to do some soul searching. Fortunately, now that she's left the only home she's ever known and isolated from her cold hearted mother, Chloe may try to mend what she lost with Andre and Zoe. Andre, be a dear and fire the chauffeur. I can't believe Gabriel allows his staff to drive like that. And neither do I. Number 3 Her Career as Queen Bee 
The brightest spot of Chloe's character remains her career as Queen Bee. As a hero and eager member of the French superhero team, she learned how to care for others and place their needs above hers. Although Ladybug and Cat Noir hesitate to trust her as an ally, Chloe proves herself when given the chance. She helps defend Paris during action-packed two-parters like Catalyst and Mayura. She's on the front lines when Hawk Moth decides to raise an army of akumatized villains, and her newfound teamwork gets a chance to shine. She also jumps at the chance to save her best friend from the villains in Miracular. It's the same episode where she repels an Akuma to stay loyal to the heroes. And that scene alone merits her worth to Ladybug. For many Chloe fans, her fight against Myura and quick thinking to use the Lucky Charm proved how much she deserved to use the Bee Miraculous. Chloe's betrayal only occurs because Ladybug takes away her salvation. It would be hard for anyone to maintain faith in their hero when their hero doesn't have faith in them. Had Chloe continued as Queen Bee in Season 4 or 5, she could have developed the trustworthiness and confidence to complete her redemption. You won't regret this, Ladybug! Number 4. Her Silent Remorse It's hard to feel bad for a villain when they show no remorse or guilt for their terrible actions. Throughout seasons 4 and 5, Chloe becomes a terror in Paris. She causes numerous akumatizations, willingly participates in the scheme to take Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculouses, and takes over the city in collusion. Her previous character development gets thrown out the window and it's hard to remember that she was once on the path of redemption. The series sends her character off at the end of Revolution. Although she's leaving Paris to start a new life with her mother, Chloe still takes the time to revel in her misery by calling Marinette to make her equally upset. When Marinette doesn't take the bait and shuts Chloe down, there's a break in her uncaring facade. Chloe leaves Paris in tears and her silent remorse leaves room for her to look back on her past actions and atone for them. Who's got all the powers now? I do! I said no one could have superpowers because they're all just for me! There's no shortage of evil-aligned characters who see the light in animated series. These characters resonate most with an audience as their struggles and tribulations earn them sympathy. The trope becomes more effective when they have to work for their redemption because it proves how serious they are about amending their past mistakes and becoming a better version of themselves. Chloe already began this journey when she donned the Bee Miraculous to become a superhero. And although she's reached a standstill in her narrative, there's no reason she can't see the error of her ways and return to Paris. Chloe is capable of selfless acts, compassion, and heroic behavior. Season 6 could finally be the time for her ascension into a full-fledged protagonist. I know what you're going to say. Meanie Chloe, I hope you didn't do anything to the Baker girl. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. If you can do a number on her, then I'll make you my real sister. Watch and learn.